guys and welcome back to another video so today's video is not going to be another sketchbook doodles video um today is going to be kind of like a continuation of um the draw your ocs little mini series that i wanted to do for you guys as kind of like a little thank you for 200k on youtube but um i think in the future i might do something that's a little bit more um inclusive of all you guys i know a lot of you guys don't have instagram and i do apologize about that but it was just the more um efficient way for me to sort through ocs instead of having people either email or dm me their ocs and stuff so yeah apologies um in the future i'll do something else um, to celebrate kind of like these little milestones with you guys. So today we are going to be painting three more OCs. I picked three from the batch that I currently have and then I think Wednesday's video I will be sifting through the OCs again and picking new ones to draw. I'm not sure how many I'm going to fit in that video. Minimum three, maximum like six, but we'll see. So I want to show you guys kind of the materials first. I'm using the big mechanical pencil to transfer everything. I did use my light pad to help transfer my sketches that I did do on the iPad to my paper. Um, yeah, and I'm using mostly these watercolors, which is mostly Holbein. I'm using two brushes today and I'm using the Magic Fly watercolor paper, which kind of has like that bumpy grid-like texture on it, which usually I'm not a fan of, but it worked well with the Chong Yun piece. So I'll talk a bit more about um, color choices, painting on this paper a little bit more, just because um, there is a bit of difficulty, and I think it's partly because of how impatient I was painting these. I didn't think it'd take me that long to paint three of these, but it kind of did. So the first OC that we're drawing is by Mini Raspberries or mini underscore raspberries and they have a really cute like florist OC. I really like the color scheme with the brown and kind of this pastel green. Um, I thought their eye color was really unique so I decided to choose this OC. Um, I did so hmm I feel like with each OC that I picked there was something I either didn't like on my part or I accidentally missed when doing the painting process. Um, so in the beginning, you can see that I was blocking in kind of like this lighter brown color and then I was blocking in kind of like darker areas for her hair. So you can see like there's a mixture of two different browns. Um, while I let the hair kind of dry, I decided to paint her eyes and then paint her shirt in just so I can let everything dry properly because this paper, it accepts water super well. Like you can do a lot of like washes and as you can see, I can do wet on wet really nicely. But there is a point where if you add color while it's still wet, it gives this weird blooming that I am not used to for this paper. And I think it's because when I was working on the Chong Yun piece, when I was first reviewing this paper, I didn't do a lot of big washes or anything like that. I, most of the colors were first of all, very light. And I took my time to kind of like, like slowly put wet on wet. Um, but if you do wet on kind of like semi dried, paint it gave kind of like a weird ish um outline to it which i didn't really like and you can see it, it's really apparent in the hair like where i added more of like a purpley blue into the back of her hair um but yeah okay let's talk about um what i kind of missed in terms of this oc for this oc um i don't know if it's because i took a break halfway through but her hair looks like it has more of a gradient from kind of like a chestnut or like a lighter reddish brown to more of a like almost goldish brown color towards the tips of her hair and i don't know if i just forgot but now that i'm looking back that's definitely something i missed and i do apologize if that is a key point to your oc um yeah because i definitely decided to use a lighter color for the hair in the start because of that but i don't know if it's because when i came back i just totally forgot why i did that um but yeah so the eyes were fun to do i did forget to put in the little clover ish looking flower pupil in the center of her eye so i went back and because my green like one of my green paints are a little bit more opaque i just mixed it with a darker green and it was easily covered up the pupil of the eye 
Um, the reason why I'm using two brushes today is because I'm trying to preserve my newer brush, which is the one with the brown handle because it has a sharper tip and it's kind of like the brush I could use for like absolutely everything. I could do it for my washes, I can do it for um, my line art and everything, like detailing, I can do it for bigger areas as long as I'm careful and as long as my pieces aren't too large. Um, but I have my other brush because it's really beaten down so I want to use it to kind of help preserve this brush so I'm using it to kind of do the bigger washes and stuff because when I'm mixing paints, I don't pay attention too much of how I'm basically shoving the brush on top of like my little um, paint tray type thing. So when I'm mixing really fast, I tend to, I feel like I'm like pressing down the brush too hard. So I wanna make sure I'm kind of preserving one while using the other a little bit more. I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of a background so I just took some old washi tape, added it to the edges, colored inside, and it kind of has a little box for the character. Um, and then after that, I decided to darken up some areas. And I still wish I kind of added more yellow, but yeah, thank you very much for submitting your OC. Uh, next OC we have, this one's a very fun one. And there was a reason why I wanted to paint this one in general, but I kind of missed the missed the ball here, or missed the point here because of one mistake that I keep doing. So usually when I'm painting any character, oh, by the way, um, this OC is by Color Koi or Color underscore Koi. Uh, thank you very much for submitting your very adorable OC. Um, I apologize about the hair though. Um, I believe I gave him a little bit longer bangs and I think your OC has a bit shorter bangs that look a lot cuter and definitely more fluffier like hair. So apologies about that. So the reason why I wanted to paint this OC was actually because um, I actually really liked his attire and the glowing effect of his earrings were very cute. But um, one problem I did have. so. I usually start off by painting the skin first. It's just like how I like to work. It's like the same how I work digitally. Um, so it's just because like, if I'm drawing a face, I like to establish what the face looks like. And because if I screw it up later and I don't like it, I didn't put all this effort to paint everything prior and then screwing it up on the last thing just to make sure, like, you know, like how to explain this, yeah. If the face turns out bad, I most likely will scrap it. So I would like to tackle the face first to know that I like what the face looks like. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So the mistake that I did was that because he has more of a darker or like a tan complexion, I should have painted everything around him along with the skin at the same time to make sure that the values don't look too off. So like this is a problem with me Similarly, when I draw characters with lighter hair colors as well, sometimes I draw the skin too dark compared to the hair color. And then in this case, the skin is going to look a little bit more washed out because I keep darkening the colors around him. So I think the colors around like his shirt area are supposed to be more vibrant, but for some reason I was making them quite muddy and I think it's because of the shadow color that I chose. Um, so it already gave it a much more darker look to it and then as I started to darken up the hair a lot more because I was struggling on figuring out how to mix the right color for this like for his hair and coincidentally I didn't realize that all characters that I chose today all have brown hair um, just in different values so apologies if anyone was looking for more of a um, fancier abnormal hair color for watercolor I'll, I'll think about that next time. Uh, but yeah, so I kept darkening the hair, which thus makes the skin look a lot lighter. Um, and because of the saturation of the hair, his skin no longer looks as vibrant as I liked it before. So yeah, and I didn't have this realization until I started to actually look at the pieces for like when I was taking the picture for the thumbnail. Um, so maybe next time I'll make sure to look at that before I end filming. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing the line art. I actually really like this OC though. He's really cute and I love the mermaid aesthetic. I apologize that it is a headshot so I wasn't able to get that beautiful kind of like um, teal turquoisey and kind of like a royal blue 
I don't know how you say it, like the torso down, like their, their tail. I think it's a really nice color combination. And I do love how colorful the shirt is. So I do have a regret of not making the shirt as vibrant. Um, but yeah, such a cute OC. I love the hairstyle on him as well and the short bangs and the very cute tattoo on his neck. Um, yeah, I think it's such a cute OC and yeah. Um, in my initial sketch, I actually had a fish in the background, but I feel like because of how I set this up, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do exactly like a colored background. Um, so usually I would tape my paper to a board, which I'm using today. Like I just have these cardboard boards that I have packing tape so I can easily take um, paper off and on by taping it without ruining the cardboard. Um, as you can see, I'm taking them off like the cardboard this way. I've seen people tape their paper to like their desk and stuff like this and it works quite well. So I decided to do that instead of taping off the borders because I didn't leave enough space to have the characters not be off the border, off the paper, if that makes sense. Like I didn't leave ample space around them. Um, the next OC that I'm drawing is by, um... I don't know how to say your name. R S Matt. No, R S Matt Robin. I'm apologies if that's not how you pronounce your name. Um, I had a lot of fun painting your OC. Um, I've always seen so for contacts. I've seen their OC on this tag before when I was doing the draw your OC stuff, and their art uh, their art is very eye catching. So I decided to take a look at their account. Um. Yeah, so we're, we're basically kind of like mutuals on Instagram, but I've always been intimidated to draw your characters. <laughs> They're absolutely beautiful, and I love the way how you use color and lighting and stuff, and everything is just really pretty. So I got really intimidated, but I decided that I would try to break out of that um, kind of like intimidation factor kind of thing a little bit and do a traditional piece. I feel like if I did digital, I wouldn't do it Mm, like enough justice if that makes sense and I feel like because I don't draw these kind of characters a lot kind of more it seems like more like um bishonen kind of ikemen kind of characters beautiful long hair kind of like more of a I don't know but his whole aesthetic is definitely like up my alley I love like pairing up turtlenecks with jackets or like cardigans or like just layering up turtlenecks like blazers and stuff just looks so classy and formal yet so like cozy and I absolutely love it which is why I always put Masaki in the same kind of like aesthetic almost which is like chunky sweaters with turtlenecks and stuff it just looks classy and like co like comfy but this guy's aesthetic really pretty um Another reason why I chose this OC to paint is that I actually really like the neutral colors in his outfit. And for the most part, I don't get to paint many characters with this kind of color palette where it's more neutral toned. And I never really have to mix this kind of a color. So his color of his sweater is not quite... It's kind of like a light gray, but it's almost like leaning a little bit more towards like a warmer cream, but it's like it doesn't really have that much yellow in it either. So it was hard for me to mix the color, but I had a lot of fun kind of like mixing browns and blues and kind of desaturating it to get kind of this like muted gray and then going back in with kind of like blues and browns to establish the shadows and kind of like the form of the um, sweater. I do like how I did the clothing for the most part. I apologize, I pretty much butchered his face. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like the, my favorite part of this one is specifically like the clothing. Um, his eyes, I drew too far apart. And I feel like that's a mistake that I do in terms of drawing characters with glasses. Um, I don't know if it's, I didn't sketch the glasses entirely correctly. But I think I shifted the glasses on the right a little too far, um, which didn't really help with the eyes being a little bit farther apart. Usually when I draw glasses on characters, um, I accidentally make their eyes farther apart because the glasses kind of like break up the face in a way that it doesn't really um, 
show how far apart their eyes are. Um, so apologies about that. But thank you very much for submitting your very, very, very pretty OC. I am once again putting a little border. A big thank you to you guys who submitted your OCs. Um, I usually don't do a traditional draw your OC very often. If anything, I don't think I have at all. But yeah, it was very fun to do these. Um, they're kind of took longer than the previous ones. There was no way I was going to paint these in like 30 minutes. So yeah, I definitely took my time with them. I think each of them took about maybe two hours. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again for 200k. I'll have one more draw your OC video for Wednesday. So if you like to submit your OC, you can check down in the description on how to do that on Instagram. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time with another video. Bye!